In my last video, I talked about why vitamin K intakes greater than what's recommended may be optimal for health. Similarly, today, I'm going to talk about why vitamin C intakes greater than what's recommended may be optimal for health. So what we're looking at is the um, RDA, the recommended dietary allowance for vitamin C intake throughout the lifespan. And I've got highlight, highlighted with the rectangle, the red rectang rectangle, the recommended intake for adults that are 19 years old or older for men and women, 90 and 75 milligrams per day respectively. Now higher intakes are recommended for smokers and for breastfeeding women, uh, 120 micrograms. But at most, 125 micrograms per day, per day is recommended for vitamin C intake. So how much do I take in? Well, my average daily vitamin C intake is plotted here. Uh, we can see vitamin C in milligrams per day on the y-axis plotted against time. So this is two years, two full years of data from July 2018 to July 2020. Each blue dot uh, is a data point each day of vitamin C intake during that period. And uh, the solid red line is my average intake during that period, so 930 milligrams per day. So why so much? So first, let's have a look at the association between dietary vitamin C intake with all-cause mortality risk. So risk of death for cardiovascular disease, cancer, respiratory diseases, infection, all of them, etc. So what we're looking at on the y-axis is the relative risk for all those diseases combined. And uh, so when you have the, uh, the solid line surrounded by its dashed lines, which is the 95% confidence interval, well, when all of that is below one, then it's, that data is significantly different. Uh, and in this case, it indicates reduced risk for uh, vitamin C intakes all the way up to about 450 milligrams per day. Now, if you really want to uh, look at it more closely, you can kind of say that it looks like the lowest all-cause mortality risk is for vitamin C intakes at 200 milligrams per day when compared with uh, 400 or 450 milligrams per day. But they didn't make that comparison. They didn't do that comparison in the study, so that's unknown. And I should have mentioned that this data is based on a meta-analysis of 14 studies. So that's a lot of data. So what about intakes higher than uh, 450 milligrams per day? So to that, uh, we'll look at the circulating vitamin C values and how they associate with risk of death for all causes. And in this case, higher circulating vitamin C levels shown on the x-axis, again, plotted against relative risk on the y-axis, RR, for all cause mortality, we can see an almost linear decrease in death risk as the circulating vitamin C concentration increase, increases. So uh, how can we get to uh, the far end of this vitamin C concentration, uh, 80, micromoles, uh, 80 micromoles per liter or greater? So what we're looking at here is a, uh, on the y-axis a, a peak plasma asc ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C, uh, plotted against the uh, ingested dose of vitamin C. So first, we can see that the current RDA uh, for, uh, uh, for men and women would get you to only about uh, 25 um, uh, micromol micromolar, which isn't very much because, again, we're shooting for 80 uh, based on the all-cause mortality data. So how can we get to 80 micromolar for circulating uh, ascorbic acid or vitamin C? Uh, so I've highlighted that here by the red uh, line. A red arrow, and to get to 80 micromolar uh, for vitamin C, it looks like a, a thousand milligrams per day uh, of daily intake will get you there. Now, what about higher doses? So, all the way up to 2,500 milligrams per day, it looks like there's a small increase um, in the circulating vitamin C concentration, maybe 82 micromolar versus 78. Um, so, is it worth it though to take in 1,500 milligrams more? Uh, I'm not sure. So. Uh, if you remember back to my first slide, I mentioned that I average about 930 milligrams per day. This data, in, associ in association with the all-cause mortality data, is basically why. Because we see 1,000 milligrams per day basically saturates the circulating levels of vitamin C in the blood. So where, where can we get vitamin C from? Now, I'm always in favor of whole foods first uh, and supplements second unless foods aren't making a difference. So what are the best vitamin C containing foods? So to address that, I sorted food based on their, uh, how much vitamin C they have per calorie, which is essentially the definition of nutrient density, nutrient per calorie. So each of these foods for 100 calories, uh, the vitamin C uh, content that's highest is found in peppers. So sweet bell peppers, in this case, yellow bell peppers have the highest vitamin C, 679 milligrams per 100 calories of yellow uh, peppers. 
Um, so I'm not going to go through the whole list, but I eat a lot to get my vitamin C uh, at 900 or more milligrams per day. I eat a bunch of red bell peppers, uh, two to three a day, 14 to 15 ounces. But I also get significant amounts of vitamin C in my diet from uh, broccoli and spinach. Now, as a last note, uh, if you're if you're interested in optimizing your circulating vitamin C concentrations, it's important to note that uh, vitamin C transport into intestinal cells from the diet uh, is mediated by a transporter that also requires two sodium uh, anion, uh, two sodium ions. Uh, so um, that's what we're looking at here. So basically, uh, when you eat uh, uh, vitamin C, you'll need two um, moles of sodium for each mole of ASC minus, which is Ascorbate, the ascorbate anion, which is vitamin C. So if you're eating a high vitamin C diet but a low sodium diet, you'll be limited in how much you actually absorb through the transport into the intestinal cells and that you get into your blood. So with this in mind, when considering that I average around 930 milligrams of vitamin C a day, I shoot for about 1,800 milligrams of sodium per day so that I can optimize, fully optimize how much vitamin C I've got in my blood. So that's all I've got. Uh, for more info, you can check out my web website. And if you've got questions or comments, you can find me lots of places online. Have a great day.